Yo, let me know how I sound. I want to make sure that the audio, I don't believe it's coming through the mic, so I'm waiting for the live to show up on my end, but it seems like it's not coming through the mic, right? Oh, it is coming through the mic, so I sound good, right? I'm waiting for it to show up on my end. What's up, YouTube? Talk to me. Why is my YouTube stream not playing yet? All right. Figure it out as we go. But what's up, everybody? We are live. Well, I'm live. Nesta is traveling back to Vegas. It is Spence Crawford Fight Week, but it is, in a way, Fulton uh, Fight Day. Right now, co-main event of the morning with Robesi El Tren Ramirez defending his WBO title at 126 pounds for the first time against Satoshi Shimusu, who is 11-1 with 10 KOs, 37 years old, and he represented Japan in the 08 2012 Olympics. He stands at a Pretty tall, five foot ten, at least for the featherweight division. And he is being announced uh, in the ring now. Let's see what the chat is saying. Interesting enough. Two and a half minutes in, I still cannot, like, YouTube is still showing. Okay, there we are. Yeah, I was about to flip the fuck out. I'm like, yo, why this shit still showing? Uh, Why is this shit still showing, waiting to go live? Like, bitch, I'm live. Fuck, we here. I'm up early. All right, all right. So... Sounds like we good to go. Hey, Ring Walk, you got me at the best spot. What up, everybody? Buenos dias. Good morning. Top of the morning. 5.30 in the morning here in Chicago. So 3.30 for my people in Vegas on the West Coast. And we're off. Robesi Ramirez versus the local Shimizu. Scheduled 12 rounder. 12 rounds or less for the WBO featherweight title of the world. Good morning to everybody. I appreciate everybody tuning in, rocking out with us. What's up? What's up? What's up? Main event should be taking place at about 7 a.m. Central, 8 a.m. Eastern. So 5 a.m. for the people on the Pacific, on the West Coast. Pretty sure that also uh, that may be affected. Due to this co-main event, maybe if this ends a bit quicker, they get that one started a bit quicker. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Intrigue, the incredible. What's up, my boy? Petey, what up? Loden, what up? Top of the morning, Roderick Baker. Good morning, TBV fam. See Perception Music. Shout out to you, champ. Intrigue, where you at with it, brother? Appreciate everybody rocking out with me this early morning. Round one, we are halfway through the first with Robesi Ramirez, uh, which unfortunately, man, uh, I feel bad for him. They, they they wouldn't allow him to rep his Cuban flag. Beautiful left uppercut there from Ramirez, who uh is in that southpaw stance and sports the gray and black with red trim trunks shimisu in the white but yeah i feel bad for jose ramirez i'm talking about jose robesi as they wouldn't let him walk out to the cuban national anthem they wouldn't allow it him to have it played they wouldn't allow him to sport the cuban flag so pretty fucked up Pardon me, pretty fucked up. Um, but hey, he here to win nonetheless. And that's what I expect him to do. Say he and Nambi, okay. 
Abundance to you, my guy. Yes, sir. He said that's about South Africa. Uh, yeah, and abundance to you, my guy. Um, wish you the best out there. Enjoy yourself. I know you'll be tuned in Saturday night for the big one. Yo, that was a low punch from the Japanese guy. Keep those shots up, my guy. Fuck around with you. I ain't wake up for that shit. Yo, shout out to Ro Basie. Even in Japan, he had his girl all the way over there supporting him, yo. Probably need that after the bullshit you got to deal with from the, you know, the Cuban uh, regime. That's, you know. But that is the end of one. Nesta is traveling back to Vegas, so bear with me, y'all. I don't have the the same equipment. So, you know, I'm going to be pausing to be able to sip my coffee. So there may be uh, moments of dead air. You know, don't, 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 uh, don't crucify me for that, y'all. Don't crucify me for that. If you are tuned in, smash the like. It is free. We do want to remind each and every one of you guys that this Friday, if you are in town, we invite you. Join us for our fourth ever Boxing Voice Appreciation Night, a night of fun where boxing's biggest names meet boxing's biggest fans, and we get to come together, break bread, and show each other some love. Tickets are on sale. I'll drop it in the chat so everyone could go get theirs. Drop it in the chat so everybody could go get this round two underway. Robesti Ramirez, co-main event of the evening, defending his 126 pound strap. And I'm probably gonna do a poll, so bear with me as we are here in the second round. Um, we are an hour away from the scheduled main event of the evening, at least according to the timer on ESPN Plus. I think my stream is a bit behind too. I'm I'm watching through my Hulu account which is in sync with my ESPN account. So I appreciate everybody bearing with me. I am at the two minute and five second timestamp of round number two, two minute and five seconds. And while I make this poll, I am going to mute myself again. So once again, bear with me. All right, all right, all right. The poll is out. The poll is out. Andre Dakota in the chat says, yo, Danny, have you slept yet? Yeah, bro, I got like three hours. It was a late night getting ready for the appreciation night and our fight party this upcoming weekend. So working hard, um, putting, you know, the final touches on it, at least that I can hear from Vegas. So, yes. Damn, yo, Japanese steady hitting Robesi low, man. What the fuck? But anyway, Robesi outlanding Shimizu 27-3. Landing at a 60% power punch connection. That's pretty dope. Mel Robinson says, Danny, I'm coming to the fight party next Saturday. Let's get it. Man, I appreciate it. Just to let everybody know, everybody keep hitting me. I've been trying, been trying, been trying. Don't think that we're going to get a third theater open. I do think that we're going to be able to get some bar top tables in the two theaters that we currently have and possibly open another, you know, 20 to 30 standing room option seats. Obviously, you know, probably at a slightly lower rate, but everything will remain the same. The open bar, 
the chicken nacho bar, your beverages, your popcorn. Can't take calls, unfortunately, bro, but boxing IQ, salute, talk trends. What up, champ? Mel, I see you intrigued. You know it. My guy coming all the way from Alabama. What, what part, champ? What part is you at? Yeah, no, she meets too slow. That's why he got to hit my boy Robasi in his balls and shit. That's fucked up, man. I, don't, I ain't for that. Yo, there's this book. You say from Birmingham, Alabama. There's this book that I'm probably going to remember till the day I die. I read it in elementary school. It's, it's called The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. You know? Um, yeah, it's one of those books that I'm like, damn, don't change my life. Yo, I take calls. I ain't going to lie. I feel in such a good mood. I take calls. So if we didn't talk before, DM me, I'll let you call me and I'm going to ghetto rig this shit up. Like call my person and we could be like, yo, what you think about Scooter? But yeah, the poll is out. Go vote. Nesta hated that I never could do uh, polls. Now I can. Go vote. Shout out to YouTube. They heard us. Yo, I love the fact how this dude coming throwing bullshit and like Ro Basie got his guard up. He catching all this shit. And then he coming back just destroying like beautiful two, three punch combinations. Oh, nice overhand left. Attempted the big right hook coming back with it, but shout out to Lil Bass, man. A lot of credit going over there for his first title defense. He should be at home with it, Miami with it, Ayalia with it, somewhere, you know, where he'd feel the love, but unfortunately, somewhere where he could play his music. Unfortunately, that ain't the case here. My boy said, yo estoy bar racho. Damn, Chan, you really drunk for real? Like in real life? Y'all know I'm, I'm a smoker. Beautiful left uppercut on the inside from Robesi. She needs to try some bullshit, but get that shit out of Get that shit out of here. Nice right hook counter from Robesi. Missing the left upbeat counter there as we do near uh, the end of the third round, 45 second mark for those of you tuned in from home. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, some people feel like this is a sparring match. You know, Shimizu, he got to want to engage, and he throwing his hands. But unfortunately, Robesi being the much fight, a better fighter, he's able to uh, weave with most of those shots, turn with most of those shots, avoid those shots. He's using levels. So he ain't staying to the level of Shimizu, who stands at a tall 5'10 for the featherweight division. He's getting lower, throwing – and ripping shots to the body. So end of three right now. Shout out to Ishmael Salas in the corner of Croatia El Tren Ramirez. Also, I don't know if he made the trip. I don't believe so because he is working with Jake Paul for his big fight coming up. But um, Robesi is a Coach Larry Wade athlete. So been working throughout uh, camp. Shout out to Devon, part of the team. And... Uh, yeah, man, they killing it. They killing it. They were just talking about the improvement of Robesi's power right before the fight turned on. See who I got in the chat. Bones 13. Good morning, champ. Buenos dias. Boxing IQ. I see you, my boy. Um, he said it's a spawn right now. Damn. Clarissa, what's up? Top of the morning to everybody tuned in, rocking out with me. I appreciate y'all. So far, Robesi outlanding. She meets through 17 to 54. Wow. Says, Folgers in my cup. 
I got some Bustelo, but definitely got the coffee in my cup. What's up? What's up? Says, what up, Ringwalk? You bake? You wake and bake already? Unfortunately, I didn't, bro. Didn't get to a chance to light up this morning. I was uh, getting everything going, making sure that the show was A-OK. And, uh, you know, I leave today. So my last couple L's out of here is very limited. So I'm kind of being smart with how and when I smoke them. And I knew I'd be alone. So I'm like, yo, if I get too blazed, I'm already going to be tired waking up. I want to. I don't want to give y'all shitty Danny. So I'm like, let me give y'all, you know, sober Danny, but you know, which is not overly high Danny. But I'm by myself, Danny. So it's like can't turn the nest, Danny. So you know, Bustelo coffeeed up, Danny. It's still a good, Danny. And then after the fight, we're gonna smoke one and celebrate, you know. Now, trust me, y'all, I am good. I feel good. Um, yeah, definitely A-OK. -okay. I ain't got to worry about, like, oh, he ain't. No, I'm, I'm cool, promise. But we are in round four, minute 10 left in the round. Again, I think I'm a little bit behind. I'm watching through my holo. Nice double jab there from the South Pole stands from El Tren Ramirez. She, Misu. 37 years old and only his 13th professional fight. So, obviously, not panning out so he wanted to. And, and Robesi just hitting him like a fucking piñata. And the referee need to step in and save this guy before you get what I'm saying. It's, it's bad for him because he ain't won a round. And he was just getting fucking whooped on against the ropes. 35 seconds left. Round number four. And, yo, you know, Shimizu, he throwing his own shots too, but Robesi catching most of them. He slipping a lot of them, and he countering like a motherfucker. And his counter shots, there he go again, switching levels. Love to see it. And, and when he switches levels, he really closing off the distance, too. So let's see what he can do with that. We've seen some uppercuts land on the inside. And that is the end of four. Boxing via great point. You know, like I said, he's closing that distance off when he switches his levels because he's crouching down. He's closing that distance off a little bit, a la uh, Everton Lubin. That being said, hopefully we see more of these body shots. We've seen the uppies. But the poll is out. Um, before we get to that, Mark Kriegel's unofficial scorecard, 40 to 36, all four rounds. For El Tren Ramirez. 125 votes right now. 74% of the people believe, 73% of the people believe Steph Fultz and Stephen Fultz and Scooter comes out victorious this early morning in Japan. 24% of the people say the monster in a way comes out victorious, and only 2% is saying it's a draw. Round number five underway. This is our co-main event of the evening. Robesi Ramirez versus Shimizu. Ramirez's first title defense. Two minute, 30 second mark for those of you watching alongside from home. Do I believe they give them the judge is going to be fair? Um, and this one of the main event. Because this one's so decisive. But the main event, I believe so. It's all neutral judges. So hopefully they get it right. Oh, down goes Shimizu. We are in round number five at the two minutes and second mark. Shimizu's down, bloody from the fucking mouth, beats the count. But this is not far from over. Action resumes with two minutes left in the round. Can Robesi get it done? The ref taking a close look, and he jumps in. It's over. Robesi Ramirez, uh, what, retains. His featherweight title, WBO featherweight title of the world, and still 
champion. So now we await. You get what I'm saying? Now we await beautiful performance from Obasi. And now we await the main event of the evening, which I'm being told we're still about 40 minutes away. So we're going to figure it out. I'm being told we still 40 minutes away from ring walk. So we're going to figure it out, see what's what, and go from there. Appreciate everybody checking in, everybody tuned in, and everybody rocking out this early, beautiful Tuesday morning. It is Cub Sox. It is the beginning of fight week for Spence Crawford. Like, it is such a beautiful and wonderful week. I couldn't be more happy. Shout out Robesi Ramirez as he gets the stoppage. Um, Not something I bet, to be told. I knew he'd win. He was just such a big favorite that on my parlay, he only gave me a few points. So I did leave him off. But uh, shout out to Real Basie nonetheless. I'm happy for him. Kind of a big fuck you to to to, to those who, who stopped him from being him uh, this week in Japan. We got Benitez Boxing says, Danny, that dude up late giving us supreme commentary as always. Up early, champ. We up early. Shout out to you. I appreciate it. We got boxing IQ, 40 minutes. Damn, me. Yeah, I'm being told about 6.45 we can expect those ring walks. 6.45 Pacific. I'm sorry, Central. 7.45 Eastern. 4.45 Pacific. So we shall see. I might, you know, have to just have like a dope little live and, and, and then... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't really know what I'm going to do. But uh, we got Mel Robinson that says, Hey, Danny, I've never been in this big of a fight atmosphere. How early should I get to the weigh-ins on Friday? Well, let me pull out my fight schedule. But we can definitely talk about fight week. And just some tips as a guy who's been and will always be a fan first. I got some tips for y'all, so uh, give me a second. Let me get the fight week schedule out. So the weigh-in on Friday to everybody who is in Vegas, the weigh-in on Friday, oops, sorry about the audio. I know it probably sounded like shit right there. The weigh-in on Friday takes place at the T-Mobile Arena. So T-Mobile Arena inside, not outside, inside. So hold on, I'm sorry. So the weigh-in is inside, not outside. For those that were there for Tank Ryan, it's not going to be outside at, in the Toshiba Plaza. The weigh-in will be indoors, so you have no concerns to wait in the heat unless you show up before doors open. Uh, fan arrivals at 2 p.m. Um, fan arrivals at 2 p.m. And... The event starts at 3. That being said, yo, it's going to be hot as fuck around that time. And unless you want to deal with that heat, I'd show up like 145. Because the way ain't going to be indoors. You're in a fucking arena. They're probably only going to have 30 to 40% of the arena open. But still, like, at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, that's some of the hottest time of the day. So, you know, unless y'all want to be in 110 degree weather, 110 degree heat to get in the way in, just show up right before the door, doors open. 
You know, there's plenty of shaded area. Yeah, you might not be one of the first few rows. The floor is going to be closed off, so y'all not going to be able to get on the floor anyway. And then, you know, you still get a decent little seat indoors in the AC to the weigh-in. So I'd say get there right before doors open. So 130, 145, doors open at 2, weigh-in starts at 3. See what else the chat's saying. Danny, can you give us your take on what each fighter can do to win this fight to kill time? Uh, yeah, bro. Um, and I know, you know, I think uh, Scooter just need a box. I think Scooter need a box. I think that in a way possesses a lot of tools in his tool back from his power to his ring movement uh, to his angles. But Scooter just need a box. He is a naturally bigger man. He is used to taking shots from naturally stronger and bigger men. I don't think in a way stop him. I think that uh, this fight does go the distance. Although I am edging it to Scooter, I believe that in a way could very easily win. You know, but it would be by decision. So if y'all picking in a way. Yo, go ahead and put money on him by decision because I'm telling you, he ain't knocking him out. I don't believe so. So, um, I got this going a distance, Fulton by decision. And, yeah, bro, so as long as he, as long as he box, be able to impose his will. And on top of that, going to come a point in time in this fight where Fulton's going to have to bang. And I believe... He's more than capable. You know, people look at the eight knockouts and the only 21 fights. People need to understand how many of those guys was undefeated guys so early on in his career at that. So, great fight. Super excited. Um, but, again, I believe we see this one go the distance. So, I'm going to try something before the main event because... You know, why not? Let's try some different things and see how this works. So give me a sec as I set this up to see how this should work. So... My mic stand is broke. I want to, let me test this out. Because I, I sat the mic down. I sat the mic down in a very good position. I just want to see how good it sounds. So let's let's check it out. Bear with me. You know, I, this shit ghetto rig, you know. But uh, this shit is absolutely ghetto rig, you know. Um, and it's okay. Absolutely. I don't sound that bad. Okay. It don't sound that bad. We're going to leave it as is so I don't have to hold the mic the whole fucking time. But we see the copy box. 227 punches strong by Robesi Ramirez. Only 187 thrown by Satoshi Shimizu. Robesi outlanding him at a very high percentage. Nearly... Or more than 20% more. So we see the countdown 38 minutes away. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be hard for me to just sit here. No sound bites, no callers, no nothing. And just bullshit for 38 minutes. So I think that I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to do that. Ain't no thinking there. I'm going to try. But uh, damn, you say Carvo Basie 1 through 6 at a plus 4. 20. Yo, them good good ass odds, champ. Shout out to you. In a way by decision is my pick, says Raw Dog. Okay. Plus money, um, at, at least as of yesterday, in a way by decision was plus money. So boxing, two dollar super chat saying Canelo. Showing love. Shout out to you. Two. 
Yeah, I don't know what you mean by that, bro. We did have somebody earlier in the beginning. Um, Negron Farala says, TBV, you guys are truly ambassadors for the sport. Salute. Damn, bro. My, look, forgot to turn on my light. My apologies. Even off the light, because we waiting so long, that shit going to eventually die. Not like the lights, Nuts got. Playoff, welcome to the prospect level champ. We appreciate you. You the man. We got Todd that says, I sound good. Appreciate you, my brother. And he said, what up, ball guy? Damn. Sean Ferguson, good morning to you, champ. What up, what up? Scooter going to feel the boom. Okay. Big Soldier MX says, just waking up, champ. Well, first and foremost, good morning. Go brush your fucking mouth. Go, go get those teeth uh, brushed, right? You ain't really miss it, you know. You ain't really miss it. He said, "Read it. It's a code word, bro. What type of cryptic shit? The sun ain't even came out yet. You think I'm trying to decipher some shit? Do I look like Olivia Benson to you? The fuck? But you paid, champ, so I'm definitely gonna read it." He says, two T N." S.L. Canelo. Yeah, bro, I don't know. Fuck. C. Perception Music says, Ness kicked out another Mexican right before you. Who the fuck was here that was Mexican, champ? And what the fuck... Does that have to do with anything? What am I eating for breakfast? Well, I got my cafecito, my, my coffee, Bustelo. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I'm not going to play the guessing games, bro. I'm sorry. Um... Because I'm just going to get irritated trying to guess. What would old Danny eat versus he healthy Danny for breakfast? Um, yo, I tell y'all, and obviously I'm I'm not like oh, but like in comparison to right, Ness is traveling, guys. Ness is traveling. So, yeah, he won't be here. Bro, you better spell it out. Fuck wrong with you, boy. Time bro sound it out. Um, Better spell that shit out. But I'll tell you guys this. I ain't never like oatmeal. Now, you know, some good oatmeal. You got you to, gotta like, chef it up, though. Like, I'll do, like, brown sugar. I'll do, I usually like slice some bananas into my oatmeal, maybe a little scoop of peanut butter. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm big on fruit though. But like back then, I used to be huge on cereal, bro. I used to kill like, it's a cereal don't exist no more named Kaboom. It had like these little marshmallows and shit, you know, little kid cereal. And I used to kill that shit, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Lucky Charms, Tricks, all that shit. And, you know, now it's like I'm more of a fruit guy. Definitely big on the fruit. You know, my watermelon, my pineapples, my seedless grapes, um, oranges. You know, I'm a fruit guy now. So it's like, you know, that's the one thing even then. Back then I always did fruit. So probably, you know, some fruit heavy. A nice uh, light bowl of oatmeal. And now, if you're talking like, and this, like, this, like me, boom, but if you're talking like, I have my mother to my disposal to make me a Mexican breakfast for my grandmother, we're having chilaquiles rojos con huevos. And I'm, I, I like mine, you know, 
over medium. So it's like I cut into it. Then that yoke just running through the fucking chilaquiles. And if we doing chilaquiles, you better have my chiles on the side, my tortillas. And, and hopefully at least a small little piece of steak. You get what I'm saying? Um, Too much sugar and banana, almost the same as a soda can. Yeah, bro. Um, I don't drink soda, so I probably don't care. Banana is just one of those fruits that I've been since I was little. You know what I mean? I've cut adding sugar, maybe some honey. Okay. Yeah, instead of doing the brown sugar in my um, instead of doing the brown sugar in my oatmeal, you saying do some honey? Um. Well, look, hopefully I could get me a honey and she could take care of all of that, right? Like, fuck, I'm doing all that shit for anyway. Huevo Rancheros definitely love me some Huevo Rancheros. My man said turkey bacon is disgusting. Pork on my foot. Yo, champ, I, you know, I eat um, pork on rare occasion these days. That's something I used to eat a lot coming up. Granny made me some pork chops and her special sauce the other day. So, uh, yeah, I had that. You know, smothered pork chops and her sauce, but it's just like, pork ain't it, bro. Like, it's just not, you know, the, the, the best for you. And I used to eat like half a pack of bacon every time. So it's like, you know, I'd rather be able to, like, be old and, and enjoying my life and still, you know, being able to fuck and still being able to travel and not huff and puff and all these things. So, we got boxing says, my prediction is in a way by decision or late round stoppage. He said half a pack. That's the problem. But it's like, yo, the shit was good. Fuck you wanted me to do, not eat not enjoy it it's not possible fights are about half an hour out about 25 30 minutes out when these fights starting just told you they saying berries are the best fruits for yo i honestly don't even fuck with berries like strawberries but like blueberries, bro, I just start eating those mixed. So like blueberry waffles. Maybe some blueberries sprinkled in my fucking oatmeal. But like, yeah, nah. What's worse? I mean, bro, why is we talking about what's worse? Pork spare ribs grilled with barbecue sauce is the business, he says. Yeah, I don't disagree with you, champ. Oh, yeah, I love me some mangoes. Love me some mangoes. I ain't going front, though. Mangoes are kind of uh, expensive, so I buy... That's probably, like, the fruit I always buy the least of. Like, when I go get me fruit, I'm only buying, like, two mangoes. If you drink too much water, you'll die of water poisoning. Man, shut up. C perception says, I respect you, Danny, but I also want to slap fool. Saying slap me. Hey man. You know? Some people love uh adrenaline rushes and shit like that. I eat frozen mangoes cheap as hell. You talking about from the back? Like that you supposed to use in a blender? My boy, Mr. Postman, say I get them for free. Bro, I used to get uh, peaches. The peaches for free. My grandmother had a peach tree in her backyard. Um, He said, yeah, the frozen kind. Okay. Yeah, bro, I ain't going to do that. Or I ain't going to not. Maybe I need to try it. You know, I've had me some smoothies, but I don't want to 
in Mexico, peaches in Mexico, brother, not in Georgia. Um, my grandmother, she had a peach tree in her home in Mexico. Jeremy Robinson says, I'll take all y'all money when in the way knocks out. DM me, bro. Bring walk Danny. I'll uh I'll take that bet. He ain't knocking him out. He he could win, but he ain't knocking him out. Yo, little sister, uh, get her ass beat the fuck down by Steph Fulton, champ. Like, why would you think that she hit harder than Cooper? Um, my thoughts on Adam 22. And I'm not saying that cool boy hit women. I'm just saying, like, if that was a fight, he'd beat the shit out your sister. Um, my thoughts on Adam 22, it's like, uh, yo, he getting money. But, you know, it ain't never yours. It's just your turn. But he definitely getting money, bro. Ain't my type of thing, but you know. He said mango's not cheap at all. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. Well, I go get my fruit every week, week and a half, two weeks, whatever. I'm only buying two, three mangoes, maybe. You know, usually a full watermelon, a full pineapple, and then you know, I'll get a pack of strawberries, a pack, uh, a bag of my green grapes. Mango with tahin and limon. I don't know that I've ever had it with limon. Definitely tahin. Uh, I'll throw some limon on my watermelon, a little lime and salt or lime and tahin on my watermelon. Don't judge. You feel me? Nah, for sure, champ, he don't have no pop, but who is he fighting? How many guys with undefeated records is on his resume so early on? You know, he didn't beat a lot of guys, so it's like not knocking everybody out. You feel me? Your boy had to fight a, a, a old man, a senior citizen, a second time to be able to accomplish that feat. Man goes a dollar in Florida. Am I the only one tripping? Yo, let me know. <laughs> but still, bro, you talking about one mango, one dollar. Like... You know how many, how much fucking green grapes I could buy for a dollar? It ain't going to be one fucking grape or, you know, a handful. It's going to be, a, you know, a decent little amount of grapes. Ray John says the hype train stops today. So, hey, man, yeah, I always put a little lime on my watermelon and then either some tahini or some salt on top, for sure. How the fuck did we get, and he said watermelon and gaso is great. What the fuck? What type of cheesy shit you on, bro? You put cheese on your watermelon? Nah, champ. Mike Real says, where in Chicago are you or am I in the suburbs? Um, Currently, I am in the south suburbs, but if you're asking where I'm from, from over east. To not be confused with the east side, I'm an over east baby. That is 83rd and South Shore Drive, just to give you an idea. Fulton is going to be too strong. Floyd versus Juan Manuel. I don't know. You know, Floyd had more knockouts, more uh, stoppages at that point in his career. Why are they only talking about in the way on the broadcast? Well, look, that's their fighter, you know. I obviously don't have it turned on. Because I am here talking with you guys, so I cannot... Get flagged, don't want to get flagged. We are 22 minutes away, 22 minutes away from the main event, the monster, in a way, versus cool boy, Scooter, Steph Fulton. 20 minutes away. Join me, I appreciate you. 
Danny, did you watch? Yo, let me check the audio again. I just want to triple check, make sure that I still sound good because, you know, I have ghetto rigged my mic. I have ghetto I have, uh, y'all funny as uh, ghetto rig. Hello. Yeah, sound good, sound good. So, bro, that's what I'm saying, Mike. They were saying, uh, uh, you know, Pilsen and Little Village, bro. I'm an over-ease, baby. That's all I know. Do He said, what's going on, Danny? Got a bankroll on Scooter. Um, first half for Mirrors KO came in clutch. Shout out to you, champ. Nesta's traveling, guys. So for everybody, Nest ain't oversleep. You know, Ness still love the little guys. He just uh traveling back to Vegas. I'll be traveling tonight back to Vegas. Back on the show in studio together tomorrow, Lord willing. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. E Ooh, 9 a.m. Eastern. And then I'll be at the press conference. So if anybody's in town at the MGM early, and when I say early, early in fight week, because, you know, Wednesday's kind of early when the fight Saturday. But if anybody's around Wednesday, tomorrow, let me know. I'll be at the MGM the whole week. You know, uh, wherever the fight week stuff is at, Friday the weigh-in's at the T-Mobile, so I'll be there for Friday. But, yeah, hit me up wherever you guys is at, and we can make sure Make shit shake. What time is a fight in Arizona? If you tell about this one, the Fulton in a way fight, fight starts in 20 minutes. 20 minutes away, the fight start. And uh, he said, Raw Dog said, You motherfucker made me cut a watermelon at Lemon and Tahin. Yo, champ. Yeah, no, no. We legal out here. Yo, champ. Go ahead, bro. That's all, all my life. I, how I ate. Uh, Watermelon, a little lime, and a little either salt or tahini, and we rocking and rolling. Um, nah, look though, I don't leave till tonight, and I'm going back to the Hardine. So you know, I kind of miscalculated my marijuana a little bit, and I only got like a three five left. So it's like, bro, I don't leave for fifteen fucking hours. Like my flight's at nine thirty p.m. Chicago time. It's six thirty a.m. Chicago time. Bro, a 3-5 ain't shit, so I got to make it last the rest of the day unless I'm going to go buy more of it. It's like that stupid point is I'm getting back to my Hardina night. I got a quarter waiting for me at the crib. Um, So, yeah, it's like, fuck I'm doing. So I'm just making it last, and again, I knew I'd be alone. So I don't want to be too high here on the show because it's like nobody going to be here to talk to me. Can't take no callers, none of that. So it's all good, y'all. I'm enjoying myself. I'm drinking my cafecito. I'm drinking my bustelo. I don't need to be off the flower the whole time. Bro, I could cop another three five, but then it's like from who? Nah, Hardin out in Illinois. How can how long and out and uh and ounce last you three five on last you today. I can't keep it so long. Uh, an ounce, it just depends, bro. Like, I brought nothing with me, but uh, if I'm in Vegas, I'm going through like an ounce every five days, five to seven. If it's a slow, you feel me? It's at least a QP a month. But usually, yeah, four to, four, four to five ounces a month, for sure. For sure, for sure. I've got to get my coffee now. I see you, bro. Shout out to Vic, man. I appreciate all you guys tuning in, rocking out this way earlier than usual. Exactly. Three, five, two woods, bro. Like, maybe three cones. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, man, like I said, I just wanted to enjoy this. I knew I'd be alone, so I didn't want to 
go light up and then now I'm just sitting here quiet and this shit's worse than what it is or any, you know, whatever. So I'm like, bro, we good. But well, we are about 15 minutes away from the main event of the evening. Cool boy Stephen Fulton versus the monster in a way coming up just moments away. I cannot wait. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for rocking out with me. Please drop a uh, a like down below. Like the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Poll is out. 406 votes. Go voice your opinion before the main event starts. Who you got? Not even how. Who you got? You got Scooter. 60% of the people, 66% of the people saying they got Scooter. You got Inaway. 31% of the people saying they got the monster. And you got a draw. 3% of the people saying they got a draw. I got Scooter by decision. He said, especially if I'm home and not working. Yeah, if I'm home and not working, I run through more. What was he talking about? Yeah, I don't know who he's talking about. They're showing this on ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus. Yeah, rest in peace to Cheese, man. Um, everybody in Philly, man, be safe. Love uh, one another. And y'all champ gets to put on on a big stage this morning. Bro, it's crazy, right? Because even though me and Ness technically work from home, even though that's the case, I don't smoke. Probably as much as I could, cause it's just like it's so much going on. Especially I've been out here is weird. When I'm around my boys, it's smoking like crazy. But it's like any other time, it's like I'm so dolo that it's like I'm just working. I'm so locked in, like um, this party just been taking a lot out of me. It's it's gonna be big, but it's just been a lot of work, so you ain't gotta be in, impressed by me, champ. I ain't nobody, I'm just a person that you know you and your you know uh draws in watching early morning. You feel me? I used to do the same shit, bro. You know, Mike and Mike in the morning. I used to cut them on every morning and, and see what they was talking about. And most mornings, I ain't even brush my teeth. I just ain't never hate on them or, or talk down on them. That's all. But, but you so cool, bro. You so cool. Main event. 12 minutes away, 12 minutes away, so we just killing time. After the last one, we had about 45 minutes to an hour, so we're just killing time at this point, waiting for Cool Boy to make his way to the ring, waiting for um, the monster to make his way to the ring. Yo, exactly. You so cool, I'm going to call you cooler. What's your analysis on this fight? Fulton by decision? Yeah. I definitely, I definitely got Fulton by decision. It ain't going to be a tough, I mean, an easy fight for either guy. You know, I think Fulton being the naturally larger man, the man who's used to being hit by the naturally bigger guy, he's going to be able to endure um, those punches that in a way going to have coming. So, he just got a box. He got a box. There's going to be times when he's going to have to exchange where he can't do it for too long. He can't do it for too long, Jeremy. Uh, in a way, we know who he is. We know what he is. So is it going to continue, though? New weight class, new, new opponent, not really a style he used to see in. Will it continue? Um, but there's no denying who in a way is, you know, it's just been in smaller weight classes uh, against 
smaller man. Danny, how long you been smoking for? Um, probably like for real. Like on some for real, probably like March of last year. Um, I got off the military, the Air Force in January of last year. You know, I had a few sessions with my guys, but really on a consistent basis. Um, yeah, I'll say March of last year. Bro. And this ain't just for border wars. If anybody wanna fight, I need 10 racks. 10 racks because it's like, bro, I have to train for that. You understand? Like I have to train my body to go through a fight camp to prepare for a fight. The Air Force trained me, you get what I'm saying, for everything else, but for a boxing fight. I need 10 racks. You feel me? And if and if you ain't got no teeth and you got all gums, I need 15 because you ugly. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna take me more to take you serious. Cause what happened to all your teeth? You feel me? You had two tries. Have I noticed any side effects? Definitely have noticed uh, you know, side effects. I feel like with anything. I think that some side effects have been phenomenal. Some side effects have brought me a lot of great ideas. Um, and some side effects, like I had to learn, you know, pretty much how to be a smoker, bro. Like I had to learn how to be a smoker. Yo, but some pros don't have the uh, platform. Some people turning pro don't have the platform and the, and the, just the connections I have, yo. Like, some pros don't have an undisputed champ walk them out or come support them. You know, undisputed champs tell me they ain't available, and it's like, it, it, like you're not available for them, but is you available for me? Like, come on, you know, it's just, it's you know, I, yeah, champ, that's just what it is. Like, I've been paid to fight before. And I'm not not gonna get paid to fight. Um, yeah, I'm never not gonna get paid to fight ever in my life. Never fighting for free. Ever in my life. Um, does it help with PTSD? I feel like it has helped me personally. Um, I got a friend who. Their husband was in the military as well. He was in the Marines, suffered terrible PTSD. It's helped him a lot. You know, everybody's different though. And I want I want to, yo, yeah, the short-term memory loss, you know, that's a real thing. Um why are we talking about getting paid if people want to fight me, B Dog? And what I'm saying is. Border wars or not, I don't fight. I'm not going to fight for free. You know, if I'm going to fight, that's time out of my life that I have to train. Month and a half, two months minimum. So, yeah, champ, if anybody wants to fight, I'm not ever doing it for free. My boy said, I started smoking when I graduated from high school. Never looked back. I just turned 40. God damn. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I knew some people that were civilians in Afghanistan with KBR. Um, I was just telling somebody, like, if I wanted money and it was solely money and I never wanted to be in boxing, I'd be in the Middle East right now living it the fuck up and making money hand over fist. But it ain't money. It ain't all money. He said, I feel you. I'm not in my 20s anymore. Gotta pay me too. Bro, I'm old, bro. Like 26. 
Like, I have a pillow on my fucking back right now. You feel me? I have a pillow. I got a pillow on my lower back right now, champ. Like, fuck we talking about? Camille, two Canadian dollars, says Danny versus Ness for the Boxing Boys ownership. No, nah, champ. Uh, I don't want that. You know, as much as I, I love you guys, Ness feels like he's not the channel. Bro, you're the channel. He is the channel. He is the face. People come for him. So, you know, I, I don't know that it would ever be the same, but. He says, you're 26. You look 47. <laughs> Salute, bro. That's what uh, that's what the military do to you, man. I had some stressful years in there. Some stressful years. Can I drink in the military? Absolutely. Bro, I got fat from drinking in the military. Like, you know, popping forty tools and all that, all that we did those. You get what I'm saying? So it was like, bro, I showed up. I'll never quick, quick story time. Quick story time. Second time I went to Afghanistan was a Monday after Thanksgiving. Monday after Thanksgiving, 2019. That Saturday, um, after Thanksgiving, Tyler McQuarrie fights in Vegas against Carl Frampton. So after the fight, go out. Um, that Sunday going away, I leave for Afghanistan that Monday. So, you know, a bunch of Ohio fighters come out, we party it up, bro. I showed up drunk as a bitch to get my uh weapon to go to the airport to leave, and I lose my wallet at the airport, so I couldn't even hop on my fucking flight. I had to go get a new ID, some more shit, and uh, yeah, bro, like the shit was crazy. I used to drink. Appreciate everybody tuned in. Appreciate everybody tuned in. Damn, she said KBR gave her half a million for PTSD. Like, I'm not even getting, like, a fraction. Yo, that's, that's fucked up. Would I recommend any of my kids to join the military? It just everything is 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 for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother, perfect example, my brother wanted to join the military to be a diesel mechanic. Like, bro, for what? I joined the military to get out the fucking streets. Because to leave, I, I was burying too many of my friends. So it was like, I'm not going to tell somebody don't because you got to have the reasons behind it. But, you know, the day I had kids, Lord willing, I'm not. I'm in a position to provide for them and treat them in a way that shit not even a thought. You know, we working for ourselves at this point. So that's what that's what my mindset would be. Or what I or how I would like things to be, but I gotta be realistic. Like I know what it was for me. I could agree. A lot of people join out of desperation, for sure. For sure, for sure. Shit. I mean, I could say I was probably one of those people for real. Like you want to break it down, down to the nitty gritty. You feel me? Damn, he said he was three points short of passing the Air Force ASVAB. Damn, bro. Not everybody's a good test taker, bro. Maybe it was a sign. It wasn't meant for you. I took my ASVAB high. Off some, off some, probably mid back then, truth be told. I was in high school, bro. Probably, I'm probably smoking mids back then. Like, I took that shit high. My boy said the Chirac General. Yeah, nah, I ain't <laughs> feel me. 
What up, everybody? Tuned in. I appreciate it. We've been live for a little minute. We just bullshitting, killing time, waiting for In Way and Fulton to make their way to the ring. Um, main event of the evening, unified 122 pound titles is on the line. I didn't start boxing in the military till probably probably like four years in. Probably yeah, it was it was four years in. It was around the time I worked. Uh, I met Ness and had started working for Ness. And uh, after my first Border Wars fight, because I had never fought up to that point. After my first Border Wars fight, that's what really got me into it. Robesi won by stoppage in round numero seis. Uh, next Border Wars TBD. Next appreciation night is this Friday though. And we have a star-studded lineup. I can't fucking wait. Um, everybody and their mother is going to be in attendance. Um, I'm excited about that. About that. They, they said that they go live at 8. Well, technically they will be because that's 15 minutes away. And they're saying the fight's 10 minutes away. So maybe a little bit before that. Jonathan Kidder, my guy. I'll see you Friday. Yes, sir. How did uh, me and Ness meet? Me and Ness met. Yes, yeah, so 745. I'm saying they will be live by 8. Oh, my bad. He said, did they go live at 8? You right, talk trend. So, yeah, they'll be live in 10 to 15 minutes, y'all. Um. Uh, me and Ness met through Sean's Tell, bro. Like, I had been to a lot of events in Vegas, and I met Sean. Sean was working for Ness at the time. And, uh, yo, I went to Afghanistan the first time, and I hit up Sean like, yo, I'm going to start my own channel, you know, um, X, Y, and Z. And he was like, look, I'm with Fight Hype now. Ness need a guy in Vegas. And it just so happened Ness was on vacation in Vegas the weekend I got back um, to Afghanistan. So I get back from Afghanistan, and 24 hours later, I meet Ness for lunch, if you will, and we talk boxing for like two hours. And he, I remember he asked me who I thought won, Canelo or Golovkin. This was right after the first one. And I told him I scored it a draw. And, you know, he's like, yeah, I fuck with you. Some, whatever he said, you feel me? And uh, he applied for credentials for my first fight. We've been rocking out ever since. Shout out to Nick's uh, Figueroa, man. Y'all got it, man. You know, we rocking out for all the fights. Alicia, the bomb, bomb gardener will be in the building. Believe that. Both nights, she is confirmed. Tickets to Saturday is sold out. Go get your tickets to Friday now. I was in the Air Force champ. Did seven years in the Air Force. Appreciate you, Michael. Quick jab says, Alicia's bad. LOL. I'm glad I can't make it. Tipsy me would have definitely shot my shot. Ain't nothing wrong with shooting y'all shot. Well, you know, as long as I respectful. But yeah, bro, Alicia made it clear we gotta have security there because uh she listened to y'all on the show and she see the comments. So uh yeah, we got a lot of security. A lot of security for both nights, especially Friday. You funny. Best week we've had in boxing in a minute. We all win this. You absolutely fucking Luby right about that. Yeah. My man said I might have to sneak in. Bro, good fucking luck. I, I'm not going to lie. Good luck, right? I'm talking to the security guy yesterday. I'm talking to the security guy yesterday, and I, I was like, Yo, so what, you want to get here like half an hour early and y'all couldn't set up and post up? He said, no, I need to be there three hours early. We conducting a site survey. 
we evacuation plan and this and this and that and woo woo. Um, bro, you getting there three hours early? So I legit had to call the venue because they only gave us access two hours early. I'm like, yo, security need to do a site survey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah, champ, you can meet her. That's why I'm putting the ticket right there. Buy yourself a ticket, champ. And then everybody could meet everybody. <laughs> you know? No, I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. I know. But we are moments away from the fight. Go get your tickets. Appreciation night. Um, This Friday, it is going to be a star-studded event. I cannot wait. I'm super excited for it. We got all the big names in the building. Um, I mentioned Alicia LeBomb, Bomb Gardner. We have the former welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. We got the 2020 Olympic silver medalist, Keyshawn Davis, in the building. Maricela Cornejo, the very beautiful, talented, and now welterweight contender. Bill Haney, undisputed trainer and manager. Bruce Shushu Carrington. Uh, Undefeated featherweight prospect. We got Tiger Johnson, the 2020 Olympian. Bernie the Boxer, official team Crawford. We got Rachel Donaire, uh, Ken Porter, Kenny Sims, so many people. I'm just naming a few. Go get your tickets. I'm still working, still talking to the champ, uh, Devin Haney, trying to get him in the building. He, he's been in constant communication with me, right? Dev been in constant communication. He actually been supporting. He actually, uh, you know, he actually been reposting and shit like that. So uh, this was just legit last night. Yeah, okay, that ain't showing shit. So this was just last night with the champ. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Keeping my fingers crossed. Keeping my fingers crossed. That we can get him in a building. Um, he's a very busy man, so you know. He said, Top flight security of the world, Craig. Yo, it's crazy because everybody and their mother got security this week. So I had to dig deep in my bag, bro. Like, I had to dig very deep. In my bag, bro. Like getting armed security for next weekend, expensive is one thing, but hard to come by, bro. That shit hard to come by. So now you got a team full of armed security. That shit was damn near impossible to come by. Um, but nonetheless, we made it happen. Everybody's gonna have a good time. Super excited. Are you going to film a couple of snippets from the party? Absolutely. You know, there will be no live streaming this weekend. There is no live chat for Spence Crawford. Just want to throw that out there. There's no live fight fight chat for Spence Crawford. If you're there with us, you're paying for that. If you're not, you get to see it on a recap, but no fight chat. Yo, boxing, you are hilarious. Very, very funny. Funny guy. He said, I believe it's a respect thing. Uh, but, yeah, no, nah, they – oh, y'all talking about the fans being quiet in Japan? But, bro, they respectful as they are. But when Inoue dropped um, and, and eventually knocked out Donair, the fans was going crazy in Japan. Like, they – it's not like they're going to stop being fans just because uh, – only because of so they definitely gonna make some noise and support they got when that's the case. 8 a.m. fight time is sad, yo. I love it. I wish I was in Japan. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I could have, uh, you know, made it made sense, I would have made the trip out there. When I say made it made sense, I only mean financially. I'm not talking about, oh, because of the fight party appreciation night. Nah, like, financially, what? I'm there. Back. Wednesday night. I would have I got back a day later than what I already am. If even a day, maybe a half day. It's 
Shout out Dante Rios. Shout out Ronnie Rios. Shout out Talk Trend, the um, Little Chicken Legs. Sakuru Hikaru. Salute. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. If you are tuned in, this is what TVV has come to. Damn, George, people can't take vacations now. You fucking bum. I'm sitting on my mother's. And let me tell you, this is a two-piece. I know she just dropped 2500 on these two pieces of, of, of furniture. I'm sitting on my mother's couch. Now I'm a fucking, man, you know. It's all good, champ. Salute to you. All right, we appreciate you. Will the clone Jamie Foxx be at the fight party? Will Clarissa be at the fight party? Are you there? That's the real question. Will you be there? No, all bullshit. Shout out my brother Jamie. We sending prayers to my brother Jamie. Um, I hope you were able to live in your reality one day soon, champ. Who is Tyrone? Why y'all steady saying they clone Tyrone? Who the fuck is Tyrone? Yeah, shout out to my moms, bro. Moms, yo, you talking about, damn, this what TV, bro, my mom's been on vacation a month and a half. I haven't seen my mother the whole time I've been in Chicago. You worried about somebody being on vacation. Damn, oh, it's a movie. They clone Tyrone. It's a Netflix movie. Okay, okay. I'll have to go check it out. Yo, I'm watching on ESPN Plus, but I believe, yeah, I don't think this is regular ESPN. I believe only the Plus, but I'm watching on the Plus, so. Ness is not going to join for the uh, fight chat as he is traveling back to Las Vegas as we speak. So he will not be joining us. He'll be back in Vegas today. I'll be back in Vegas tonight. We'll be back in studio together, Lord willing, tomorrow morning. And now the monster, I believe, is making his way to the ring. Appreciate y'all tuned in. Make sure to smash that like button. It is free. Appreciate you, Manuel. He said, let me get a credential, champ. A credential to what? Because, you know, I, I got mine for Bud Crawford and Errol Spence. I'm credential for fight week and for the fight. So I might I might just leave y'all last at the fight party <laughs> Shoot to the T-Mobile arena. The fuck you talking about? I'm wa I'm watching from Europe, bro. We usually have to wake up this time to catch fights in America. Man, shout out to you because now you able to enjoy and not be up early and be extra tired. You actually, you know, living. He said plus one twenty four for the distance. I told y'all. If anything else, go the distance. I told you. So now we have the very classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. announcing the guys as they make their way to the ring. And it is, in a way, the monster coming out first. Shout out as uh, the champion will be coming out second. And I am going to mute myself because I want to hear some of this. So bear with me. I am by myself, but, you know, bear with me. Very dope ring walk. The smoke is lighting up. You would have thought you was walking through a cloud of hardened smoke into the appreciation like this Friday. But in reality, and, and they, so it's it's dope. They going through Inouye's record. So they started 0-0 now to his record now. And they showing just pictures of all his fights um, leading up to this point. Camille, two dollars Canadian, said who's gonna win this fight, Dan? I got full ten by decision, brother. This is pretty dope. This is pretty dope. And if you aren't watching alongside with me, you can be. I'm watching on ESPN Plus. So if you guys want to tune in, listen to me while you guys watch the fight, ESPN Plus. We'll do it.
I appreciate y'all. In a way, look 20, not 30. Yeah. Definitely looks strong. We are now awaiting the ring walk for the champion, Cool Boy Fulton, as Inouye is entering the ring now. If you are tuned in, you can watch this on ESPN Plus. Watch me right here on YouTube.com forward slash the boxing boy. Smash the like button, it is free. And hit the notification bell to know each and every time we go live. I'm not taking callers, but if you know me and we've spoke, maybe I'll let you call my phone and we could get over it that way. Up to y'all. Of course, I plan to go to an event, probably out the country, though, because the three most expensive races are the three U.S. races. So, you know, I'd love to go out the country, go up to Canada, go down to Mexico, go... Uh, Monaco, Abu Dhabi, um, Spa, which is in Belgium. You know, there's a couple ones that I'm definitely considering for sure. Is he really? Is, Sho is Shohei Otani really watching, or is you just saying that because they're both Japanese? Because, like, on a serious note, if he really is, that would be huge. Yeah, but I'm on Otani's page. He hasn't posted anything about Inouye, you fucking liar. Why are you lying like that? Now the world champion, cool boy Steph Fulton, making his way to the ring. American flag showing on the screen. Yeah, I ain't going to lie, man. I want the fight. Let's go. Like, give me the fight already. Yo, like, I've never understood something. I've never understood why fighters live stream other fighters' fights. Like, I've never understood that. You know, I feel like this is how y'all eat. Why? Like, if anybody should understand it, you should understand it. So it's like, why are you taking food out of my, you know, out of my mouth? I don't know. Is that Marcus or Brandon Watson? Shout out to... Shout out to the Watson brother who make the trip to Japan, be alongside their fighter. And uh, I thought, need a closer look. It seemed like he might have a local gentleman be working his corner as well. Probably a cut man, if anything. Yeah, I love that motorcycle jacket, that custom uh, surgeon piece, that cool boy rocking, very fly and very nice uh, ring attire. Looking fly as a whistle. It definitely feels like a big fight. I don't remember any other fight that had this big fight feel to it. Like, like I'm saying in Japan, what's the last fight that people was waking up this early for? Especially on a Tuesday. Yeah, people keep talking about cool boy shoes. Um... He is wearing some Yeezys, the original, the Nike Yeezys. Um, yo, sh again, shout out to the surgeon. Yo, those is expensive. Like, Cool Boy probably got a, a thirty-five to forty thousand dollar ring outfit. Like, not even kidding. I know surgeon is charging, bro, ten to fifteen racks 
for a pair of shoes. That's a pair of Yeezys, the old Nike Yeezys, not the Adidas Yeezys. These was the Yeezys people couldn't afford. People could afford the Adidas Yeezys. People wasn't affording the Nike Yeezys for the most part, you feel me? But uh, we are just moments away from the main event. Cool Boy Fulton versus the Monster in a way, just moments away. And I can't wait. That's what I'm saying. The kicks. You saying the kicks 30. I'm saying the whole outfit 40 plus for sure. 35, 40. But let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I cannot wait. This is a big one. Fulton looked focused. He looked locked in. Let's see what the poll is saying. Now, I never get into the bike. 666 votes, 64% of the people saying Scooter, 32%. So half. Scooter got twice as many votes as the monster right now. 32% saying the monster, 64% saying Scooter, 3% saying Drew. Never got into the motorcycles, y'all. Or whoever asked me. I've read, I've ridden them for sure, but not my thing. Not something I do. I don't have a motorcycle's license. Five dollars. Jaime Nieto says, "Let's go." I'm hyped for this fight. You hear? Fulton came out to Shinsky Nakamura intro. LOL. I have no idea who that is, and I'm also watching the fight on mute because I'm right here talking to you guys. Big money on a plus 430 by decision. Salute, Danny. Salute to you. My guy, shiny suits cinematic. Yo, I'm sleepy as fuck, too. I'm not going to lie. And on top of that, mom, I'm sorry, but I finished your coffee. I know I leave today, but you are, you are out of coffee now. So this is about to be my last sip of cafecito. Yo, I fuck around with some four wheelers. Hell yeah. Y'all just got to take me somewhere that y'all know y'all familiar with. I tried to fuck around on some four wheelers by myself in Mexico and uh, I had an accident. Didn't turn out that good. So, uh, yeah, no Ness as Ness is in Japan. Oh, shit. I'm talking about in Japan. I'm crying. Oh, shit. Y'all probably think I'm hot. Ness is traveling back to Vegas from La Florida. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I need a fart, I'm not going to get up from my mother's couch. Like, it's like I'm farting on my mom's couch just like I'm shitting on, on her toilet. In her toilet, you feel me? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, get your scorecards ready. Yup, get your scorecards ready. I'm not scoring this. I don't think I really want to enjoy it. Like, I feel like I, I'm going to try to, and then I'm going to just get distracted. So, yeah. It's like, should I score this? Probably not. Is it plus 100 in Chicago for what? The fight to go the distance? It was a few days ago. It was a few days ago. I can now say it. I had three way parlay. George Cambosa's money line was the first part. That hit. The second one is Fulton Decision. So let's see. He said, score it with your heart. You funny as hell. Yo, actually, I'm going to mute myself. I got to go piss. I can't. You feel me? I can't. So I don't want to miss the fight. Bear with me. Enjoy my mom's couch um, in the meantime. And I'm about to go use the restroom. Be right back.
All right, all right, all right. I am back. I am back. Let me check my audio one last time. As the fight still ain't fucking started, but we we like right there. We ain't far. We right here, so it should happen. All right. Sounds like we good to go. If uh, everybody hears me good, and y'all seen the pillow. I wasn't lying, bro. I'm an old man. Got back problems and shit. Back for the, the the pillow for the lower back support, you know. He said, "Those aren't Yeezys, bro. Those Nike inflates." Um. All right, cool. Those aren't Yeezys. You right? He said, "In a way, by guillotine, y'all hilarious. In a way, by any means he chooses." Reed Kavik says, I got Fulton by TKO in the eighth. My man's look like a Jedi, he says. Um, Fulton a plus 285 in DraftKings right now. Yeah, man, they ain't showing him no respect. We, hey, he going to have to earn it, though, at this point. Like, we here. It's time. We here and it's time. All right. Who y'all think look more relaxed? And we on. Round number one underway. Fulton in the black trunks. In a way, uh, with the uh, shade of pink. In a way, in the black trunks with the shade of blue. Very slow so far. In a way, with a jab to the body there. Another jab to the body by Inouye. Two minute and 15 second mark of round number one. Uh, Steph Fulton with a three and a half inch reach advantage. So the natural super feather or junior featherweight uh, with a three and a half inch reach advantage over Inouye, and it seems like Inouye kind of looking for his shots. He kind of seems to be taking his time. Cool boy, a very wide stance. Inouye trying to jab to the body. Fulton gets out the way of that. Inouye trying the right hand up top. Fulton caught it, and it seemed like they both landed a jab at the same time there. So, in a way, trying that left. Fulton out the way. Nice jab by Fulton. Just don't know if this is enough. Another jab by in a way there. I don't know if it's enough. If it's going to be enough, like, at this point, at this pace, to win the round. Minute left here, a little under in the first round. Jab to the body by Inouye. Fulton comes up short on his jab. And now, um, seems like their feet got tangled. Inouye landed a right hand, missed the left hook. 30 seconds left in the first round. In a way, trying a big right hand, missing huge. See what these guys can put together to close out the first. In a way, he gets warned to not hold Fulton's head down. Two right hands on the inside and then the forearm. And this was this what I was talking about, saying that and now the ref gets a second warning to in a way. This is what I was talking about, that Fulton's going to have to fight at moments, and this is the moment that is the end of the first. That is the end of the first round. Yeah. 
So it seems like majority of the chat has it 1-0 in a way right now. They said it's not looking good. First round, let's see. Should I do a poll? Actually, and I'm going to probably end that because we saw how everybody is scoring it now. Now we wait for the fight to actually take place and then see who y'all feel won. But so far, seems like 1-0 in a way is what y'all saying. Round number two underway. Somebody said it earlier, but that boxing ring does look fucking dirty. So in a way, I'll land in full 10, 11 to 3 in that first round. And nice body shot from Inouye. And Fulton seems to be having some trouble uh, figuring them out, at least at this moment right now. I'm trying that jab, but it's like he's going to need more than that. Right hand from in a way, and he keeps dropping his hands. In a way, does when he'll throw, he'll shoot a shot off and then drop it. And it's like, bro, let your shit go at that point. Fuck is you waiting on? Damn, he over there flashing his his defensive moves on Fulton. Oh, shit. They said, we smoking the full 10-pack today. I see a roll-up. Holy fuck. Still early in the fight. Y'all moving. Y'all feel like that already? Nah, in a way, it's looking sharp, though. Halfway through the second. Definitely looking sharp. In a way, with a nice jab to the body. Yeah, Fulton can't be worried about that power. Like, the power is the power, and he's just going to have to make it shake because he got a long fight uh, ahead of him. Got a long fight ahead of him. Good ring movement from Fulton. Nice jab there from in a way, kind of like a little up jab. Fulton trying the right hand coming up short right there. I kind of feel like he's throwing some shots with hesitation though. Can't like he already getting in a way to bite on those feints, yo. Like put that shit together. You know what I'm saying? In a way, trying the right hand there misses. But I feel like his pressure is more effective. Boxing IQ 360, $2 says, in way full work and speed is giving Fulton hell. Definitely through the first two rounds. Uh, yeah, I got it. 2-0 in a way. First one wasn't the most clear, decisive, but it was definitely more of, I felt, a in a way round than anything else. So definitely going to be tough for Cool Boy, but only two rounds in. Let's see uh, what he can do. In a way, looking good thus far. And if you are, then I appreciate you. Go ahead, smash the like button. It is free. Just so I'm going to remind everybody, Appreciation Night Party this Friday. Link is in the chat for tickets. Loaded, loaded, loaded lineup. So right now, Fulton's only been able to land a jab apiece in each round. Round number three underway. Let's see if he has more success this round. Double left hook from Fulton. Jab from Fulton. 
I wish I could hear what the uh, corner was telling him. Oh, in a way with a right hand there come it's just short. Two minutes and twenty second mark of round number three. Let's see what Fulton's able to do. Again, just seems to be thrown with so much hesitation, so much hesitation. That's it. Like he's he's not, not having the most success with the jab. So it's like you're going to need more than that, champ. Jab right hand there for Fulton. In a way, attempting his double jab. Nice jab from Fulton again. More success with it this round, that's for sure. But a nice jab to the body by In a way. Right hand to the body by Fulton, followed by the jab to the chest. And In a way, with a nice jab of his own. Another jab from in a way. Fulton with a jab of his own, but he gonna need more than the jab. Beautiful right hand to the body by in a way. Fifty seconds left here in the first round. Both guys exchanging in the middle. Yeah, and in a way, really uh, making a statement thus far in this fight. Nice jab to the body from in a way. Jab right hand down the middle. Another jab right hand, and I believe you might have to take a closer look. I don't want to misspeak saying somebody's cut or somebody's this, but that is the end of round number three. And as I take a closer look, yeah, Fulton uh, bleeding out the, out the nose. And you see it right there. Uh, in a way, throws a jab to the body. Fulton bites, and then in a way, comes with a overhand left, left hook there. So beautiful performance thus far from Naoya. In a way, as she's moved up in weight once again to challenge for a title. Fulton choosing to stay. And remain standing in between rounds while Inouye takes seats. Yo, it ain't that I'm sad. I just thought it'd be a bit more competitive thus far. But we got plenty of fight left. Round number four underway. Inouye outlanding Fulton 44 to 10 on body punches. Nice right hand over the top for in a way. Now I feel like he's trying to put more pressure right uh right down the pipe. Left hook from Fulton. The this the moment Fulton gotta fight. He can't box right here. He's gonna have to fight in a way in moments, and this is one of those moments. Cool boy does seem a bit more settled in, I gotta say, but still a in a way fight thus far. Overhand right for Fulton. In no way trying that jab very fast and sharp. Lands it there. And good defense from Fulton, but he's going to have to respond. He's going to have to answer. He can't just move, pivot, uh, block. He has to throw back. 
halfway through round number four. Fulton uh, looking for a shot as he throws a big right hand there. And they both exchange in the center of the ring. In a way, uh, landing his, and it seems like Fulton missed his shots. Big right hand from in a way. Jab to the body from in a way. You see, I know it's, it's coming. I'm going to... Hey, man, we got to see it. He's definitely impressing, that's for sure. Beautiful jab from Inouye. Tries two wild uppercuts, comes up short there. Big right hand down the middle uh, for Inouye. He plays on the inside when in a way not. He might as well. Yeah, Yo, if they're going to take a point away, you might as well get a point tick trying, not a point tick holding, you know? Oh, nice jab there for Fulton. And that is the end of round number four. Very tough one-sided fight so far for uh Naoya anyway, that's for sure. Yeah, I definitely have it uh three one at worst four zip for in a way. Yeah, I know I'm a little bit behind. I'm watching on my Hulu account. So I know it's a bit delayed. That's why I keep repeating my timestamp. All good though. Mark Kriegel has it 40 to 36, four rounds to nothing. For the monster. Round number five is now underway. Total punches in a way outlanding Fulton by 37. More than double of Fulton's punches. Nearly triple, honestly. In a way, trying a nice three punch combo miss, but did land a beautiful jab to the body there. I like the idea. You know what I'm saying? He's he's trying it. Big right hand, left hook for the monster, but Fulton takes that well. Nice jab to the body by Cool Boy. Big right hand for in a way shit. Two boys seem to take that well. Oh, big right hand for Fulton. Is he getting tired? Is is in a way getting tired? Some people seem to get. Some people seem to believe he's getting tired. If he is, Fulton got some catching up to do, so we'll see how that play out for him. He does look more settled in, more relaxed, more calm than nice jab for Fulton. Making sure to use every bit of that ring Fulton is. Nice jab there. Right hand jab from Fulton. A 
caught the overhand right from anywhere. Ooh, snapping jab from anywhere. 25 seconds, 23 seconds left here in the round. This has been definitely a better round for Cool Boy. I still don't know that it's enough for him to win the round, but definitely been a better round. No doubt about that one. Near the halfway mark of this 122-pound uh Unification fight. 122 pound titles on the line. Ooh. Even though I, I will say that Fulton uh Perry and caught some of those shots, man, he got to do more. And this ain't going to be enough to win the round. See, arguably down five is it. You know, round number six on the way, though. Round number six is on the way. Nice jab there from Fulton. In a way, responds with a power jab to the body. Power jab upstairs. Fulton kind of wide there. But it doesn't get caught. Nice jab to the body from In a way. Another jab to the. Oh, but anyway. And we still got ways to go, but again, this wasn't a fight I thought that Inouye would win by knockout. And I kept telling y'all, even if y'all think Inouye win, bet the decision. Granted, a lot of fight left as we near the halfway mark. Right hand, left hand from Fulton. Both guys end up in a clinch. Nice jab there from Fulton. Ooh, counter jab from uh Ooh, in a way. Jab right hand, left uppercut. Okay. Yo, the monster, he, he a problem. He a problem for sure. He's really been able to neutralize Fulton in his first half of the fight. Quite impressive from in a way. 20 seconds left here in the round. Oh, big right hand from Fulton. And the monster just keeps marching. And both guys just banging out to close out the round. Damn. Okay. Well, that is the halfway mark. And arguably, that is a one-sided sweep from... The monster thus far.
Let me know. I'm sure. I'm sure we we got the scores the same, but let me know if y'all think we going the distance. If y'all think we going the distance, let me know some. Total body shots, eighteen to six in favor of Inoue. Apologize for the moments of silence. Uh, you know, rock and dolo right now. Round number seven underway, though. The monster in a way and cool boy Stephen Fulton. Yeah, now this is going the distance. I told y'all. If he get the stoppage, though, it's, impre uh, it's impressive. I mean, what he's done so far is impressive. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm impressed by, by the monster today. Very much so, but I still don't think he's stopping. I still don't think he stops him. Power that Inouye has is just like it just slows the guys down. It's crazy. Oh, big right hand lands on Inouye. Holy fuck. Fulton landed probably his best shot of the fight, but Inouye seemed to, to have took it well. And now he's trying to respond and answer back. Bro, that was a huge right hand. I can't believe it didn't even, like, wobble him or nothing. That was a big right hand, yo. Minute, 10 seconds left here in round number seven. Full 10 bloodied up a bit. Jab to the body, overhand right, in a way with his own overhand right. Forty seconds left here in round number seven. Yeah, I do feel some of the movement is doing is unnecessary, like. Again, he gonna have to bang at times, so a nice jab there. In a way, left hand. Oh, left hand again from Fulton. Ten seconds left in the round. They both exchange jabs, and that is the end of seven. Right now, they show in uh, the lowest percentage knockouts by world champions Fulton at a 38 percent so not the most ideal but definitely ain't the lowest either this is a one-sided fight thus far i can't i can't like even try to say anything different eighth round Coming up. And underway now. Ooh, pardon me. Fulton out throwing in a way in the last round. But in a way, outlanding, at least according to the punch stat that ESPN just showed.
Damn. Right hand drops Fulton left hook. Fulton gets up. Beats the count. Oh, shit. He hurt. He hurt. Fuck. Oh, shit. In a way, stopping him. Fulton is hurt. Fuck. In a way with a barrage of punches. Right hand, left hook, uppercut. Down goes Fulton again, and it's over. And the new Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Naoya Inoue, now holds the WBC and the WBO titles. The monster brings it home. Let me know what y'all think in the chat. Fulton seems to be okay as he gets up. Very impressive, dominant fashion. Plenty of people, I was one of them, had the questions uh, against this level. And he showed that even at in this division, even at this level, he is still able to dominate. He is still able to dominate. So uh, congratulations to Naoya Inoue on his success and accomplishing yet another division. I said right hook, left foot. I meant right hook. Y'all don't even know what the fuck I said. I meant right hand, left foot, to be honest with you. Fulton is on his feet. He seems to be okay. Wish him the best. Obviously, we never wish nobody ill or wrong or bad. In these moments, but uh, shout out to Inoue, man. He showed, he proved, and uh, if I ain't think shit else, I definitely didn't think he would stop him. And uh, he did, man. So shout out to the monster. Jaime Nieto Farala said, Inoue made that look easy. Good fight. No excuses. Inoue outboxed and KO'd Fulton. Easy work. Yeah, man. No, he sure did. Yo, I feel I want I, I want to check because I feel like his hand might have touched the canvas after that first knockdown, and then the left foot came. But again, bro, it was just levels, man. It was just levels in the show tonight. Um, again, the show. But that is it. No callers, no nuts, no nothing. Shout out to everybody rocking now over two hours strong. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to check us out. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern, as we are supposed to be back in studio together. And this Friday, we are at the Appreciation Night. Tickets are on sale, going fast. Star-studded lineup, Marisa Suleiman, Alicia Bumgarner, Sean Porter, Keyshawn Davis, Bill Haney, so many, so many. So go ahead and uh, get your tickets. I will see you guys Friday. And if all goes well, Nesta and I will see you all tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern. Peace.